You may recognize this man. He's a lawyer. He represents the porn actress Stormy Daniels in her lawsuits against the president and Michael Cohen. But in the last six months, he has become famous in his own right. He's now one of the most consistent fixtures on cable news in this country. He's appeared on CNN and MSNBC literally hundreds of times. But he's moving beyond being a mere television celebrity. He's now talking about running for office for president. He's released his positions on major issues. He's traveled to Iowa and New Hampshire and Michigan and Ohio. He seems serious about it. We've invited him on the show many times to talk about his plans, but he's always declined until tonight. He's now agreed to appear on our set, provided we give him time to state his case, and we're, of course, happy to do that. In the past, he's also demanded that we stop referring to him by a certain unflattering nickname. And we haven't agreed to that demand, but tonight is a gesture of goodwill. We will not use that nickname because we're always grateful when guests are brave enough to show up in person, including in this case. And he joins us now. Thanks a lot for coming on. So, I mean, we could sit and hurl insults at each other for the segment. Already done that. I've certainly insulted you. You've insulted me. But you seem smart. So let me take you seriously as someone who wants to be involved in the public conversation and ask you about things that you have said on questions of policy to flesh them out a little bit. So this is you at a rally in July. I think it was the day after the president spoke with Vladimir Putin in Helsinki. And you were addressing a rally. And here's what you said. Watch. What Vladimir Putin and Russia did to this country in connection with the 2016 election is no different than if they would had placed 100,000 troops on our border. Yeah. 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 This was an invasion. It was an electronic invasion. It used hackers and tweeters to elect this president. So if Russia had 100,000 troops on our border, I mean, that would be an act of war, a profound provocation. What would be the rational response to that if you really felt the threat was that profound? If you were president, how would you respond to that? Well, Tucker, I understood that I was coming on your show tonight to talk about the case uh, involving my client. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't tell you that, and I'm wait, happy wait, to talk wait, about the case. Wait, 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 I, but wait, I just Tucker, played Tucker, you a clip. I don't, Tucker, I just Tucker, you, you got to stop. Question. Tucker, you got to stop interrupting me, okay? Because one of the conditions of me coming on tonight was that you were not going to do what you do routinely to guests, which is talk over them and interrupt them. So just let me finish with my answer, okay? Let me okay. finish with my I answer. I said I'd give you a fair interview. I just, I actually don't have an interest in squabbling with you at all or name calling. I've done a lot of that to you and you've right, done but not it to, to me. No, but not to my face. I, I could, but what's the point? I want to take you seriously. I'm serious. Okay. So I just played a clip of what you said at a rally. You're traveling to states because you want to influence policy direction. Correct. I don't think it's unfair to ask you about something that you said. What's the question? And the question, let me restate it, is you said that Russia has done something that is equivalent to putting 100,000 troops on our border. That's an act of war. Correct. And I wonder two things. One, what you would do as president if that happened under your watch. And two, what do you think Russia thinks watching public figures like you say that we're at war with Russia? What effect do you think that has? Well, first of all, there's no question that Russia interfered with the 2016 election in a very serious way. The only question is, what was the involvement in Donald Trump or by Donald Trump and his cronies in the process? Okay. And that's what Bob Mueller's in the process of getting to the bottom of. By but way how of should the grand, we as a country respond? There you go, interrupting me again. Okay. So how, how should we respond? Yes, we I asked you three times. We should respond with the absolute force of the law. We should be doing everything in our power to bring those individuals to justice, those individuals that are also in Russia, and let me tell you what we should not be doing. We should not be standing shoulder to shoulder with Vladimir Putin and choosing Russia over the hardworking men and women of the intelligence community that risk their lives for this country. So the, the president the has sold out the United okay, States so the for the benefit of Putin. The administration announced today a new round of even tougher sanctions against Russia. Do you support that? I, I think it's a start, but I don't think it's what a step. What would be the end? I don't think it's a step in the right direction. I, I don't think the president has shown any leadership relating Sanctions to Sanctions are not a step in the Vladimir, right direction? No, I said punishing. it's a step, but okay. it's not enough. Okay. I believe that President Trump should demand the extradition of each and every individual in Russia that Bob Mueller and others believe were responsible for the election okay. meddling in 2016. Okay, so I think a number of people I think that's, have been, I think have been that's charged. A start. Okay, that's a start. I think that's a but start. But what's the, I mean, if you really believe that it's the same as 100,000, what I'm saying is you're using reckless rhetoric on a subject you don't really understand that increases the temperature between the United States and a nuclear-armed adversary. Is that a responsible thing to do? I, I think under the circumstances 
circumstances, I stand by my words, and I think for you to lecture... But it's 100,000 troops on the I think border? For you, I think for you to lecture me about reckless rhetoric is rather ironic, Tucker, in light of some of the reckless rhetoric that okay. you engage in okay. each and every day on this uh, show. Reckless rhetoric, okay. So um, you've said that you are a civil libertarian, in effect. You're a libertarian on sex questions, um, and that, that's fine with me. Does it bother you that the Obama administration authorized spying on American citizens connected to a rival presidential campaign? Well, first of all, I don't think it's been established that that occurred, uh, number that one. That Carter Page but, was but spied on? I, I don't believe that that's been established, number one, that in fact, uh, President Obama authorized his, uh, such, uh, his administration. Such, authorized are you, you going to interrupt me for the entire I'm, segment? I'm or just clarifying because I don't think you understand the question. No, I the do Obama understand administration this. authorized spying on an American citizen connected to the Trump campaign. Does that bother you at all? First of all, I don't think that's been established. If it was established, of course it would bother me. Are we going to get to the facts of my uh, client's case? Yeah, are we going to get to ask you one last real get, adult question gonna, first we, okay, because you're traveling around the country go ahead. as a commentator on politics, and I'm interested to know what you think. I don't think that's illegitimate. So it has not been established that Carter Page was spied on? Is that what, is that what you're saying? How many times are you going to ask me the same question? I've already stated that in my view, I don't believe that President Obama has been shown to have authorized the spying, quote, unquote, The Obama on, administration, on, why dodge the question? Look, you traveled here with policy advisors who've worked on other campaigns to the I, show tonight. I have no I idea. I think you'd be ready for a simple I didn't, question. I didn't, I didn't travel here with policy advisors. Can I ask you, let me ask you a question. No, I don't think why you, is it, you why is get it a that, TV no, show and then you no, can ask no, me a question. Why is I've it asked that, you a no, simple why question is it that and you're not call, answering Why is it that you don't call Donald Trump the creepy porn president? He's the one that had sex with a four-month-old son at home. Okay. So, with my client so now, without okay. a condom. Okay, so but, but you don't want to acknowledge the, okay, that. Hold on. You don't want to acknowledge, really acknowledge that. that. Acknowledge it. Okay. Do you believe that he had sex yes, with my I client? Do. I've said that on the okay, air multiple so times. So let me ask you the a American question. People, and you're what okay is, with that. What you think it's the, okay if the president lies settle, to the American Settle people. down. Let me finish my question to you. What is the crime, the harm, the injury to your client by Donald Trump. As far as I understand, this was a consensual sexual relationship, and yes, I believe it occurred. I don't know that, but it seems like it did. I'm willing to believe that it did. But it seemed consensual, and then she was paid at the end of it. And yet you, and by the way, I'm not attacking Stormy Daniels. I feel sorry for her. I feel she's being exploited you, you've by you. You've attacked her for six months. I feel that you and others are exploiting her. So I feel bad for her. But I'm wondering what the injury is I think is to you her. demean her repeatedly. And really? I think, you're, I think you're a hypocrite. So let me ask you, let me ask you what I the injury is. You want to talk about the case. I'm asking you the core question sure. in the case. What is the injury to Stormy Daniels? The injury is, is that the agreement that was entered into was not adhered to by Michael Cohen and Donald Trump. They did not fulfill their end of the bargain. Now, do you want to talk to the about the injury to the American people, so the lies it is and the lying. So you're, you're, you believe that you believe? No. no, but you just you just went off on this moral lecture about how it was wrong for the president to have an adulterous affair, and I would agree with that. But you're very outraged. So that. is your yes? You said no. it's an injury against the American people that he had sex with someone no, not his wife when his wife was You didn't pregnant. let me finish. The injury is that he and Michael Cohen and others lied to the American people and covered up the $130,000 payment and violated campaign finance Did law. That's why Michael obligation? Cohen, I'm not done. No, but That's why Michael only, Cohen I'm just sorry. pled guilty. Let me ask you a question. That's why Michael Cohen Did just they have pled a, guilty. I understand them. I've been following right. the news as well. Okay. Did Donald Trump have a moral obligation to tell the, the American people that he had a sexual relationship with Stormy Daniels? I don't care whether he had a moral obligation then or not. Why what is he it had a an obligation? Didn't. No, what he had an obligation to do was not cover it up, cover it up and lie about it and commit campaign finance okay. violations as his right hand. Campaign. Michael Cohen just pled guilty to the felony. Tucker, what are you to talking about? To campaign finance violations? Yes, associated with, with right. Ms. McDougal. And I thought you were following so, the news. So I thought you were you, knowledgeable let me, let me about these you. I'm a little confused. So you're, the, you you're the protector of Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels is right now working in strip clubs and little towns on stage. People are throwing things at her. You're wearing a $1,000 suit. Why is... Shh, you, why are you not paying her? You've profited from Stormy Daniels. You've done tens of millions of dollars with the free media on the basis of your relationship with her, and she's working in strip clubs. 
You're exploiting her, and you know that. Why aren't you paying her some of what you're making? Sir, this is absurd. It's not I absurd. Not Those are the facts. No, you don't know the facts as evidenced by the fact is that you Is she working in know. strip clubs? Are you going to continue to interrupt me, or are you going to let me finish? I do know the facts, right. actually. No, you don't, because it, you just demonstrated your ignorance, because you didn't even know Michael Cohen pled to two felonies associated with the campaign I finance violations. I don't believe that what Cohen did, and I'm not defending Cohen, I never have, was a campaign finance violation. I well, think it's pled absurd. It. I think pled it's absurd. It. He pled guilty to two Felonies. Okay, so everyone who pleads, look, this is a what, stupid, we have, a, we have an honest disagreement. I don't think it was a campaign finance violation. Stormy Daniels was to perform in Richmond in a depressing strip club. This hero that you say you're protecting, you're her protector. Why is she working in seedy strip clubs while you're on television wearing expensive suits? Why because, are you not exploiting her? Why is she doing that? Because she wants to, Tucker. And oh, this she is wants a, to have this is America. At her this is America. And guess what? If a woman wants to perform in a strip club, she does so but even though. Getting rich even though she's people not. I'm not getting rich even though people you like you, even though people like you demean her not demeaning and call her, her you're the one who's profiting you're the one that refers to her consistently right. as a porn star and as to me as a creepy porn lawyer and meanwhile you give well, the president well, well, meanwhile you give the president a pass I would who say, had unprotected sex with oh, the porn star okay. with a four month old son at home well you are a moralizer for a guy who no, does what you do no I, oh, but you I'm are not, though I'm you are a little moralizer you're like we're in church now with a four month old Son, okay, I'm, I'm officially shocked by Donald Trump's behavior. I had no idea. It blew my mind. But answer my question. Why are you rich and your client sir, is not, working in CD strip clubs? Sir, do you have any idea how much money I've earned? You're on case? every cable show. You You're running no for idea. president now. You have no idea. Well, I know that you haven't paid your taxes you not, you, because you've got over a million dollars worth of... That's ridiculous. You don't even it's know your facts. It's not true. You, you don't even know your, over a million you dollars know your facts, Tucker. Leads? Look, I'm just saying, Tucker, why is she Tucker, still... how do you have a show and you're this ignorant? Uh -huh. How is that Here's possible? what I know for a fact is that your client is not thriving. And for you to look at me in the eye and say she wants to perform in strip clubs with people throwing stuff at her is insulting to her. People don't do that unless they have no choice or it, she just likes it. Is that oh, what you're saying? Tucker, now you're the defender of my client. You don't know well, anything it's about pathetic. my client. You're exploiting you don't even her. Know, you don't know anything about my client. Explain my client. I know client. that she's I've working ever, in a strip club in Richmond. You gotta let me finish. Can I finish? Please do. All right. I've done a remarkable job for my client and she'll be the first one to tell you that. And had you listened to any of her interviews or yes. seen any of her comments, you would know exactly what she thinks of me. I am not, I'm not done. I am not exploiting my client. I'm really? representing my client to the absolute. So when she to wants to get yeah, your still, legal I'm advice, does she have to pretend to be talking. a booker from CNN still, to get through to you? you know, I mean, that's, that's, that's disgusting. Why don't you show what's some disgusting respect? is why don't you, you show some respect to my client not. and me and stop calling us a porn star and a creepy porn lawyer. If you've got that big a well, problem with porn, thought, do you have that wait, big a problem I'm with porn? I'm not making fun of when's the last time, slow when's down. The last, when's the last time you saw porn? Oh, you busted me. Actually, I made a humiliation time? porn. No, That's but, why I watch you on CNN. No, no but when's the last time you, when's the last <laughs> yes, time you viewed, when's the last uh -huh. time you viewed porn? You're a little you creepier a even than I realized. Do you have a problem with porn? You're What's dodging your the porn? question that I have asked you repeatedly. Do you believe that people that view porn should watch your show? I'm not even sure what that question means, but I will say this do you? sincerely, that I have never attacked Stormy Daniels. Yes, you have repeatedly. I think you are exploiting her, as I've That's said absurd. five times, and you haven't answered the question, which What's is, question? why is it that her life has stalled, and your life has, you're planning a new career as a politician, and like so many lawyers, you are taking advantage of her. And you pose as a feminist hero because you are shameless, and the other channels let you get away with it. But you're an exploiter of a woman, and you should be ashamed of it. And you're a That is and my, you're, and you're that a, is. The, no, are you going to let me finish? You're going to let no, me respond? We're out of time, hypocrite. and I get you you're more an time. You're hypocrite. More time you're than hypocrite. I promised you. You don't know what you're talking about. But it is about. nice yet to again, see you. Yet again. 12 minutes. Creepy porn lawyer. Great to see you.